so guys welcome to this training today we are going to learn pizza love this is introduction to pizza love and today we'll be learning the environment of pizza love all these icons displayed at this front i'll be explaining each and every one of them one after the other all right let's start the first icon here that looks like plus which is known as insertion when you click at insertion this is where you see your test to insert your test to insert, uh, insert the current date sticker shapes to insert things from your gallery images and pictures from your gallery then if you want to draw is the icon to draw then the next one the next icon there is the save yes in this save it has two options save as project and save as image by the time we go deep into the training you'll be understanding the work of each of these two here then the third icon here is the share it's the share this is if you want to share your work with your friends and want to share it to your social media platforms you can share directly from here then the fourth icon here is favorite quotes yes these are quotes that uh, are being compiled by pizza lab you can use it you can use it uh, while working yes you can use it while working then the next icon here which has three dots is a drop down of other options that are not displayed at this top uh, bar this is known as the menu bar yeah you can see use image from gallery if you click here directly it takes you directly to your gallery to select an image to use to select an image to use okay let me select an image and when you select an image it gives you these options to reshape your images to reshape your images to different sizes all right let me leave it at the first one which is the 1.1 Okay, let me select. Okay, I see. This is your image. This is your image in the background. Yeah, this is the image in the background. Then the next icon here is full screen. As if you want to preview your work while working, how it will look like. Let me click on it. I see it. This is a preview how the work will look like after design. All right, let me go back then i have use image from camera this is when you snap immediately and you edit, start editing this one is a spot image you can export it if you don't want to go through the save icon you can export directly here to your gallery image size this is how to get the image size because when you're designing you design with sizes design with sizes is each platform you see have the various size like facebook page facebook picture whatsapp pictures they are they have different sizes so this is where you set the size of your image before you start designing i have tutorials that if you want to go online and watch tutorials they are customized tutorials i have remove as we have recover and this recover auto save yes that is when you are working and uh, your phone automatically shuts down you can click on this recover auto save and it will bring back your work this is plp files these are the files you save as project yes the files you save as project if you click there you can still see the works and you can continue from where you stop or you can use it for another design all right about this above uh, about uh, pizza lab and exit that's to close it all right having seen all this icon at the front but all right so let's check the ones below all right this first one you're seeing here this first one you're seeing here does this uh template you're seeing we have different templates these are the templates all right let me click ok so that you can change the other background these are various templates you can use while designing 
you can choose this template and start designing on top of it immediately or you can add you can add your template or your background and start working with it immediately this is the for the first then the second one here the second one here this one is for your test for your test this is where you edit anything test all right let me show you an example all right let's add a test let's add a test you can see media i clicked on it it gave me various options here you can edit your test you can delete your test you can copy you can send to the front send to the back you can position all right let me type something so that we can we can move it okay let me type my name daniel okay it's my name daniel i think it's we have seen it this is daniel i seen it all right let me go to the position position which is which is this which is this this is the position all right let me click on it if i click it it enables me to move this test that I've typed. It enables me to move test. It enables me to move images. All right, let me practice with this uh, Daniel. This test I've typed. All right, let me click the side. You can see the it is moving. It is moving. Let me click the left. It is moving. All right, this a uh, plus icon here. It to increase. The distance in which it moves all right let me have you seen now i've increased this to 16 piece all right let me move now you can see that the distance it covers it's not the same as when it, it was at four are you seeing it are you seeing it all right let me select this all right we come to the next one the next one does this which is relative position relative position let me click on it yeah this is for alignment alignment in different angles alignment at, at edge right left at the edge right below up at the center centralize it I see it this is your relative position then the next one is our test size that size that's where you increase or decrease the size of the test are you seeing it are you seeing that the size of my test is decreasing is decreasing is increasing and is decreasing all right this is where you change your test size then the next one is your padding you can actually part from left you can also also part from part back to the right all right let's check the next option which is color color yes it is where you can change your test or your email your test color actually your test option yeah we have different colors here are you seeing it have prepared you slide to, to see others see other you slide to see other colors when you are not seeing the color you want to use you can click on this plus icon here to show you various uh, colors here you can blend your colors i will we'll go into details when we start main design all right we have gradient here too we are going to treat this letter all right we have your texture this texture that is when you want to use maybe a customized or a background texture for your test all right let me click on it can see here to select pretty much what you want to use to customize your all right let me select this particular picture let me select it let me select all right are you seeing look at that out there are you seeing that the background we selected went into it are you seeing it are you seeing it yeah that's for texture then uh opacity opacity this is opacity this is opacity i'll be opacity sorry opacity let me click on opacity this is 
where you you know increase the visibility or decrease the visibility of your work so when i take it back i see it's becoming faint when i bring it back it's up this is to affect the shadow to affect the shadow all right this is to affect the shadow all right i've treated that all right this is to rotate this one is to rotate at different angles i see it rotates at different angles then the next one next one sorry about that sorry about that the next one is max max this is max this is we have to cut out the part of the test you want you can either max in or max out i seen it max in and max out max in and max out we go to details later in the course of our training all right uh next one is font style font style you know font we have different types of fonts you can select the one you want to use different types of fonts and you okay it i see it has changed the font we have style style option whether you want to put it what you want it to be italics i want it to be underlined or text cross anyone you want you can select it from there all right then we have curve curve to curve to curve your test that's bending it to different angles i see it you can i see it okay then we have to add background if you want to add background to your test you can select it i see it you can add background to your test i see it all right uh Next one is alignment. So align, you can either align to the left or align to the right, or you place it at the center. Then we have justify. Yes, we all know this one. All right, uh, this one is for spacing. This one is for line spacing. This one is choke. All right. In the course of training, we will explain each and every one of these. All right. Let's move ahead. Then the next option here. The next option here which is the third icon this is the icon we're working with now third icon let's click on it yes the previous icon we click before this is about test then this one we click here is about image anything about image about shape this is where you customize it as you can see it's almost have the same templates with the first one all right let's let's insert a shape first let's put a shape here first remember how to put your shape you go to the insertion which is the plus at the top we can use import here let me click it import okay i see i've imported my image once i import the image the options opens you can see various options here ranging from cropping the image copying to the front sending it to the back positioning it creative position resize color texture opacity color filter stroke you can see almost the same option that was in the test is also here so that's it for that so if in the course of our training we'll be explaining it to details then let's move to the next one which is this all right let's click on it here we talk about the transparency the image size and the font take a short that's a snap a picture and start editing it this is where you start working or you want to put a customized image for the background this is where you do it or you want to remove you want to save your image without a background so that it will be in png format this is also where to do it there are many things you can do with this icon all right in the course of our training as i said earlier we'll be going into details into details of all these things then the next option here next option here next option here that's this this option here which is let me click on it first let's see 
all right in this place here this is where we work on background a picture the brightness the contrast the vintage the noise the stripe half saturation the hue all right so in the course of our training we'll be going deep deep into this this is the vintage vintage for those that know vintage as you know selecting the edge part of your page or an image you know all right as i said earlier this noise will go into details at the course of our training when we have to use it we are going to explain it to details all right i think that's all for introduction to pixel lab i hope you guys got value please don't forget to hit the subscription button please subscribe and turn on the notification button on because i'll be dropping in trainings on training i'll be joining videos so that you yourself you can learn and know these things these are what people are doing and they are using to make money online thank you very much watch out for the next video bye